Right then, I'm up. Uh, I'm halfway. I'm going to be going down again in a minute. But here we are, we're on the Quantox. It's on the edge still, on the Coleridge Walk. Um, straight down there where those buildings are, just zoom in. Right the way down there, that's the courthouse. And behind the trees is the, um, the church of St Mary the Virgin. And where there's some um, people parked, that's where I, there's a white camper van there. Or a van or something. That's where I was parked. That's the little car park I use. Not far from the pond. And I've been exploring the coast over there. I'm having, but I am going to get back to the coast. I'm going to be doing Watch It to Minehead at some point. Um, catching the train, the steam train, one way and walking back. We're walking there and getting the train back. Um, I think I'll probably do it get the train there just in case I miss the train. At least if I walk back I know Alberta will be waiting for me. So here we are in the beautiful Somerset countryside surrounded by beauty. There are various paths as you can see. I've got to assess whether Smith's Coombe is worth doing by the way because basically if it's too um, riddled with horse flies and if it's too um, riddled with this sort of thing I'll, t I'll carry on the walk and then I'll, I'll take a path up another path up um, I'll just do another route you know but there's, there's horse flies around me now so it's a, it's a bit annoying They get the scent of you. I should have brought the spray on. This one, they follow you as well. Right, so we're going down then, up again. This is one of the problems with walking in the countryside. Um, it's also why a lot of people don't bother. And you don't see, I haven't met nobody out. And I also understand why those walkers I did meet last week were absolutely covered from head to toe with lots of clothing. Now, I mean, I have done a bit more. I've, well, I've got trousers on and thick socks and boots. And this t-shirt I've got on is quite thick. So they're mainly get, trying to go for my arms at the moment. And my arms are already quite badly attacked. But this is the joys of walking in the countryside. And it would have been no different when Wordsworth and Coleridge were here. So there we go. That's beautiful. See? Over there. So it's not far actually to the the junction where we we will see the sign for Smith's Coombe. And that's when we'll have to decide whether it's worth getting bit to pieces or just doing a completely different walk where I walk round and uh, go from there. We, we just see what happens. Uh, one way or another, I'm going to. I've decided I'm going to come down through Slaughterhouse Coombe. No, not Slaughterhouse Coombe. Ladies' Edge Coombe, that way, um, which I like. Uh, which is may, mainly reminds me of uh, my young days, where my went with a school and went with my sisters, Margaret and Jude. Where my sister Valerie also liked it out there. I think all the family, Barbara, I think they've all been out there. Out here. It's always been a special place. And my dad obviously liked it. Because he used to bring us out here. So, I mean, I'd like to think perhaps, did he come out here with me mum when they were, when he came back from the war? Did, you know, did they come out? We'll never know, really, will we? See, that's the thing, you know, the war took split families up. My mum was split up from two, her two young children, Barbara and Valerie, Valerie, my two elder sisters. That's pre-war babies, and I'm post-war with Margaret and Jude. But the dad went off to war, 
so nobody saw him. The kids had to go and be um, refuge, not refugees, evacuees, and go and live with people that were cruel to them, and all that. Yes, yeah, a whole, it's a whole lot I don't know because I started doing family tree. But some of the people I needed to get more information from, like for the tree over the last hundred years, say. Yeah, last hundred years. My mum was born in 1912. My dad was born in 1908. Um, so... There's a lot of digging up to do. There's more being released online, but to get somebody's verbal narration about their experiences in those times would have been nice. And of course, the diff another thing about walking here, I'm sure, now most people will be able to see across the top as they're going, but I'm down, if I've doubled the camera up, because <laughs> I'm sure in the winter you won't have to you won't be faced with nine foot high ferns in front of you you know this will be died down still can't see the church yet Hinkley Point over there alright over and out for a minute I'll take a picture <laughs> 